I'm going to take you back in time to October of 1992. The goth scene in Toronto is dead. There's nothing. There's a club here, something doing on a Wednesday night. And I keep on thinking to myself, I can do better than what's out there. And I get the chance to because I find this location here. And there's another bar in it. It's going downhill. It finally closes. So I approach the owner and say, I want to put a bar in here. And he says, go for it. Now, I don't know if the crowd is out there. I don't know if the goth crowd is going to come. But I do what I can. A lot of black paint, a bunch of cheesecloths, some skulls. I start handing out little condoms that have sanctuary and an Ankh logo, which we decide is going to be the logo for the bar, which I kind of ripped off from Logan's run. But anyway, for a couple of months handing this out, get the club all good to go, and finally the door is open, and the first night we had like 500 people show up, and I was amazed because the place could only hold about 200, and from that point on, it just grew and grew and grew. And we were at this location for about eight months, and some of the best things that happened here Anne Rice came by to do an interview, and this was just when Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Dracula was coming out. The Anne Rice books were just starting to get into stride. Everybody thought that they were a vampire. Everybody wanted to be Lestat. Everybody wanted to live forever. And I just wanted a place that I could listen to the music that I wanted to, that I could dress the way I felt comfortable dressing, that I could dance when I wanted to. I could go out on a Friday or Saturday night and not have to worry about going on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday when no one wants to go out. And most of all, I just wanted to be around all the people that I wanted to die with.